Animals are so much fun to paint. In this video, I'll walk you through my process of painting two different breeds of horses on paper with just a few colors. Let's get started with the Zorn palette of four colors which is ideal for portraits. Yellow ochre, cadmium red medium, ivory black, and titanium white. Before painting, I often do a quick tonal sketch in pencil. You can also use this step for tonal value practice. But if you're really up for a challenge, jump right into it with paint. Now I'm going to cover the sketches with a watered down mix of yellow with a touch of red and add some tonal value as I go. Learning how to distinguish the dark, medium and light values in your reference and then transferring that into painting will help you tremendously. This is what makes a subject appear three-dimensional. It also helps to choose a sunlit photo with only one light source where you can easily see the shadows and highlights. Since acrylic paint dries darker, you'll find it necessary to build layers of lighter color as you paint. Try to avoid adding too much water to the paint on your palette if you can. I used to do this for glazing and blending, but realized that it dulls the vibrancy of paint color. What you can do instead is load up your brush with paint so that it doesn't dry too quickly as you're blending more than one color. If that doesn't work, use the dry brush technique and smear on highlights when the paint is dry. There's more than one way to solve a problem. The more you paint, the more you'll discover and learn. To really bring these horses to life, I'm going to focus on the eyes now. Here too, pay attention to tonal value and place the highlight in the right spot. If you find that the eyes look off, it's most likely the misplacement of the highlight. When I picture horses, I always imagine their mane flying in the wind. To get that soft feathered look for the mane, first paint it like the rest, tonal value and all, and then use a dry brush for the highlighting stage. This technique also works on any area you wish to blur or fade into the background. Dark fur, just like light fur, requires tonal value. The only difference is that the values are subtle. What I like to do is mix black with a hint of red or yellow and then highlight with a lighter version of that mix. Painting in realism requires a combination of patience and technique. If you rush the process, your painting may look incomplete. As you can see, simply dry brushing this mane doesn't show volume and fullness. To get that effect, I'm going to apply some thick paint and then add the highlights with a dry brush. Making mistakes is part of the learning process, and painting in acrylic makes it easier to deal with it because you can just paint over it. A horse, or any animal for that matter, is easy to paint when you simplify the process. You don't have to be an expert at drawing or painting to get started. Just trace and transfer the reference and take it from there. Learn as you go, but remember to enjoy the whole process, making mistakes and all. The more you paint for fun, the better your attitude will be towards learning. Well, I hope you found this acrylic demo on painting horses useful. Until next time, have fun painting! If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.